Hello, and uh, welcome to an elder, my Elder Scrolls Online review. Um, so yeah, I've been playing Elder Scrolls Online now since launch for about three weeks. Um, and I'd like, to, I'd like to do this review from the perspective of a casual gamer and you know just a fan of the Elder Scrolls series um, right now I'm I'm in Cyrodiil in the uh, PvP zone so I'm probably gonna be dying a lot because my character is not really all that high of a level I I get to play me about an hour a day so I'm not very high leveled and here in PvP, people uh, are like level 50 and, and up, and I'm at level 14. Um, anyways, for the review, uh, I love this game. Just from being a casual gamer and a fan of Elder Scrolls, I've been playing Elder Scrolls since Morrowind, and um, this game is fantastic. It's got everything that you would hope that an Elder Scrolls game would have and this is the first MMO that I've ever played but I think that it's it's done just great um, the uh, I love the way that the skill set is is applied Let me bring that up just like any other Elder Scrolls game, you know, when you have a attribute point to assign like I do right now, you know, you just assign an attribute point and hit commit and that's it. You get skill points, um, you can assign skills to your classes. Uh, I'm a Nightblade, so this is the Nightblade class skill, skill lines. And it's as easy as just assigning a skill point. When you level up a skill enough, you can morph that skill. This is what the morphing looks like. So assigning skills and attributes is very easy. I love how that's done. Um, items, armor, weapons, and all that, very easy. Oh, something else about the skill line is that right here is your quick uh, skill access, one through five, and this is ultimate ability. You just hit R and you can use that in battle. A lot easier in my opinion than Skyrim. Um, that was one of the few things that I didn't like about Skyrim was that if, say, you wanted to wield a, a great sword, and cast some spells, and here I am, here I am dying because. I, uh, I decided to open up my menu while there were people running around. But yeah, uh, like I was saying about Skyrim, um, if you wanted to, if you wanted to wield a great sword in Skyrim and cast fireballs, you couldn't. You had to switch your, you know, one of your hands to wield fireballs. But in this game, you can wield a great sword and throw your skills wherever you want them to. Um, so that's something that I really like about this game and the interface as you can see is is fantastic and the game is absolutely gorgeous one of the one, and one of the few things about this game that is not like other Elder Scrolls game probably one of the only things is um, Is, is that you can't go and just loot anybody that you feel like looting. Unlike Skyrim where there's items lying all over the place or whatever, and you can go and pick up anything that you want to pick up. You can't really do that in this game. And, uh, I'm just going to follow these guys right here because they usually know where to go. Um, 
Yeah, you can't just go looting anything that you want to in the game. And that's pretty much the only thing I feel that is keeping this game from being like other Elder Scrolls games. Um, the, uh, the MMO aspect of the game is, is fantastic. As you can clearly see, there's a lot going on in PvP. So much so that I can't even talk and concentrate on what's going on at the same time. Yeah. I haven't played too much PvP. Maybe it's pretty intense sometimes here. But even outside of uh player versus player just doing regular campaigns the um playing with other other players is fantastic just grouping up with people and and going and doing um just normal campaigns <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm so uh, horrible at this, playing this game. Um. All right, we got some people attacking the wall here. These are all friendlies. This is where I can finally start helping, I think. See, these guys are all on my side. Where are they going? not take me long to die. So, first one here again. Um, what was I talking about now? Just, uh, doing player versus environment quests with other people. That's uh, that's a lot of fun things too. Um, what it reminds me of, since this is the first MMO I've ever played, I didn't have a whole lot of expectations about what um, what playing with other people would be like on here. But what it reminds me of is playing co-op games. Like back in the day, I used to play Streets of Rage and. Battle Toads, games like that, with my siblings, and that's what that's what playing player versus environment reminds me of when you get together in groups, especially if you've got friends who already have the game and you can get together with friends and play and chat with them while you're playing. It'd be just like playing any like a co-op game. And that's something that I really like about this. Let me see if I can go five minutes without dying over here.
A lot of these players, as you can see, are veteran ranks. And I'm level 14. To get the veteran rank, you gotta be at least level... Um, yeah. <laughs> I have no business playing in Cyrodiil right now. Veteran ranked is level 50. And, um... Uh... I'm level 14, so... Too much going on over there. So I'm just... Going to... Let me see... I'm gonna head over here. Wait, that's where I am. Or that's where I wanna go. Well, anyways, that was a little peek into the PvP, which gets pretty intense, and I might not be high enough level to be to compete with them right now, but it's a lot of fun. And that's another thing. I've been playing for, um, I don't know, I, I put in at least 20 hours of gameplay so far, so it's been three weeks probably more than that I don't I don't know how to see uh, exactly how much time I've put into this game I don't know if there's a section that shows you that um, yeah I can't say how much hours I've put into this But, but I, you know, I've put in a decent amount of time into this, and so there's a lot, uh, there's a lot to do in this game. I really like it, and uh, I think I'm gonna end this for a review. I don't even know if this was a very good review or not. It was hard to talk and pay attention, or die, I should say. But. If you'd like to see um, the, the over the regular world, as I call it, Cyrodiil. Cyrodiil is where the PvP takes place, and then there are alliance zones, I guess. I'm in Ardon right now, so I will travel. Let's see uh, here continue the quest that I was previously working on. I just felt like sh like doing PvP while I did this review, but apparently I'm I got I'm j I just get messed up over there. But to to recap basically um as an Elder Scrolls fan this game is fantastic is everything that I was hoping out of an Elder Scrolls game. It is beautiful. Um, you know, you can play in all kinds of different ways. Uh, as an MMO, it's fantastic. You can just, you know, join up with random people that you see wandering around. You can join up with friends. You know, form guilds or any or whatever it is that you want to do and just enjoy playing the game you can do PvP and anybody saying that this game is going free to play because of the $15 subscription I think is just ridiculous um, if you don't want to pay for a subscription then don't you know if you want to play the game, then I, I recommend at least giving it a shot. Um, okay. I don't want 
gonna jump off the mountain. I don't know why I can't talk and focus on what I'm doing. But... So, so disoriented right now. I might just be tired, I don't know what's wrong with me. People keep saying that this game is gonna go free to play because of the sub subscription. And whether or not it does, you know, I don't really care. It's a fun game. I don't have a problem paying a $15 a month subscription because I don't play a whole lot of games. I was looking for an Elder Scrolls game, and this is an Elder Scrolls game with a ton of content. Uh, I can get together with people and play. You know, there's a lot to do. So, I hope, um, I hope you found this review useful. It was, it was more just rambling than anything else uh, and dying and getting lost. But if you like this review, if you found this helpful, which I hope you did, please um, subscribe to my channel and check out my Elder Scrolls on Let Let's Play videos. I have a few of those uploaded and I continue uploading videos every day. And trust me, they're better than this was. I don't die quite as often and I'm a little more focused on where I'm going. But anyways, uh, yeah, peace out.